Speaking of delicious snack cakes, mm. did uh, you guys catch the Super Bowl last night? Yeah. Oh. Then you're better at catching things than Tom Brady. Oh. It was true. It was a huge showdown between the defending champion New England Patriots and the underdog Philadelphia Eagles. Of course, I don't have to tell you who won. Just take a look at the streets of Philadelphia last night. Philly's on fire! No, it's, it's hard to tell from that. Yeah. It's hard to yeah. tell from that, but that was a screaming inferno of joy. <laughs> there was so much fire and crying for a second, I thought I was watching This Is Us. <laughs> because oh, they're oh. not real people. Oh. All of those actors are alive. Yeah. Because it's not even a CBS show. Because oh. the people of Philadelphia weren't satisfied with just taking down the New England Patriots. They also took down their longtime nemesis, Philadelphia. <laughs> Eagles fans have a history of extreme celebration. During their first playoff win this year, one fan was arrested after punching a police horse. <laughs> but the horse was fine. He was listed in stable condition. <laughs> so the cops were prepared for a Philadelphia Geddon. A few weeks ago, to keep the fans from climbing the streetlights, they greased them with Crisco. And when that didn't work, they stepped it up to a waterproof hydraulic fluid. So let's see how things worked out for these now invulnerable poles. In your face, Tom Brady! Let's drop these on a horse! <laughs> And it kept going all night. Fans surfed police vans, did trust falls off the awning of the Ritz-Carlton until it collapsed, and scaled the gates of City Hall and then attempted to climb into the Eagles Stadium. <laughs> Just so fun. And, of course, uh, I didn't realize it was going to happen. The Super Bowl decided to have ads again this year. Uh, Verizon ran one showing how first responders use their network to communicate, ending with the slogan, they answer the call, our job is to make sure they get it. But if you're not a first responder, they had a slogan for you, too. Here's a picture of my penis. Want to come over? <laughs> there was... Okay. I got the same reaction as the This Is Us thing. Okay. <laughs> There was also an ad for Scientology, which encouraged people to Google Scientology. Uh, Scientology, uh, quick question. Have you Googled Scientology? Because I wouldn't encourage that. That's like O.J. Simpson saying, no, really, I'm a famous football player. Google O.J. Simpson. <laughs> At one point... At one point, viewers were confused when, during the Super Bowl ads, the feed went dark for almost 30 seconds, which I'm assuming was an ad for the hungering darkness that will one day consume us all, regardless of who wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> Jim, can we see some footage of that black screen? Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that was perfect, yeah. Oh, you know what? We don't have the express written consent of Major League Football to show that. Show it again. Show it one more time. <laughs> yeah. Up yours, man! <laughs> but the most controversial ad of the night was a Dodge Ram commercial that used a sermon from Martin Luther King. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. You only need a heart full of grace. Soul generated by love. 
Now, that sounds inappropriate until you remember that Dr. King was awarded the J.D. Power and Associates Best Mid-Sized Humanitarian. <laughs> and initial, initial customer satisfaction, I believe, is what he got. And this ad is part of a whole new campaign for Dodge. Dr. King said he had been to the mountaintop, and what better way to get there than Dodge Ram's powerful four-wheel drive and smooth, multi-link rear suspension. For it was the Dalai Lama who said, the purpose of our lives is to be happy, like the happiness that comes from the 6.4-liter, eight-cylinder Hemi engine. Joan of Arc. We don't know if she loved Dodge Ram's 12-inch infotainment display, but who's to say she didn't? That's why the Dodge Ram is America's favorite full-size pickup, with an interior roomy enough for Harriet Tubman and Gandhi to make out with each other. And if you don't believe that, you're making Helen Keller sad. The 2018 Dodge Ram. If that didn't work, here's a soldier with his child and a dog. We got a great show for you tonight. Claire Danes is here, but when we return, I share some of my deepest midnight confessions. Stick around.